adopted into the family. The next in focus on the second Sunday in December was centered around what? You remember? Mm -hmm. Huh? And the, those those children yeah. had some serious issues yeah. in it. Always. Conflict. Yeah. The third in focus last week was what? Oh. The elderly man. Conflict, oh, yeah. Yeah. Conflict yeah. with church members. The elderly man never could let the young man grow up. So conflict. And then today you have conflict in the in focus about Brenda. Barry. The marriage. marriage right. So for me, all this month, every in focus has a smidgen of conflict in it. So the first thing I want us to do is anagram this word conflict. How many one letter words, two letter words, three letter words, four letter words, five letter words can we get from the word conflict? So conflict. Let's do the first one together. The first first one letter word conflict is I, right? Okay. I, I, yeah. I, no, one letter. Just one letter. One letter. One letter. Yeah. yeah. All right. Two letter words. What conflict? What do y'all see? No. What? No. Own? No. No. Yeah. Own? No. What else? Yeah. Two. Two. Yeah. It. Yeah. It. Yeah. Own? Yeah. Yeah. No. Two. It. Yeah. Any more two letter words? Any more two letter words? Two letter words in conflict? Any more? In. In, I, in. Come on, class. Okay. Think. If. If. Come on. Come on, right now. Alabama roll tag. Roll tag. No. I didn't know y'all learned in Alabama. Yeah, it's not. Ah! I play football. If. Any more two letter words in the word conflict? <laughs> any more? All right, let's go to three letter words. Three letter words conflict. Not. not. Everybody shout not. not. Fit. Hold on, slow down. Fit. Everybody shout fit. fit. Give me another three letter word in conflict. Lit. Lit. We got to watch the context of that, don't we? Yeah. Con. Con. That's Con. Some of us been there. Oh, yeah. Con. 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 What other three letter words? Lot. lot. Lot, mm -hmm. ton, give me another three letter word. Did you say fit? Yeah. Fit. You say Did y'all say fit? Yeah. Tick. 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 Thin, thin, any more through that words? What? Where's A? Where's the A in there? Where? We got C O N. Okay. Any more through that words? Con. T O N. Yeah, we got that already. Cot. Yes, cot. C O T. Any more through that words? Down up under there, up on the not right top. Where? Down at the bottom, right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna go go into our well, let's, any more three letters. Okay. Three letters, four letter words, four letter words, four letters. This is where it gets interesting. Four letter words, make um, me a word. What? Um, See, no, ain't no e in there. Ain't no e up there. Oh, kind of Okay. Blit. Flick the lights on and off. I know what's flicking on. F I F L I T. Is it? Flint is the word. Not no flick. The light on and off. <laughs> I'm thinking that what does that mean? To flit. Okay, okay flit. Y'all got a phone, Google. Google it. Google it. Flit. Give me another four letter word. Four letter. Four letter. Any four letters? Gotta think. Uh, 
What? He knelt. What? Give me another four letter word. No four letters. What? What is it? Blood clot. Give me a four letter word. You're doing great, class. Any more four letters? I'm looking myself. What you see, preacher? Oh. You just looking at the word conflict. All right. Is all is that the only two letter, four letter words we get from that? All right. Let's go five letter. Can we do five letter? What? It's a five letter word. What? Yeah. Go, back, go back to the four four letters. Coil. C O I L. Ooh. Yeah. Foil. Yeah. Foil. Ooh, y'all getting it. Flint. Five letters. What about font? Did we always say font? Font? Yeah, we got font up here. Font, coil, foil, clock, flint. Now we at Flint. Any more five letter words? Any more five letter words? Coin. Coin. It's coin. Uh huh. Coin. 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 Cliff is C L I F T. Uh huh. Oh, Cliff. Oh, Cliff. Right. right. Cliff. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cliff. C O L I C. C O L I C. Yeah, I only got one C. Yeah, only got one C. Got one C. Oh, we do got two C's though. Oh, yeah. oh. We got two C's. Oh, yeah. It's a fair. It's up there. <laughs> so we good? Any more five letter words? Y'all got clock. Tonic. Oh, got there you go. Tonic. Tonic. T O N I C. Huh? Tonic. Oh, tonic. Oh, oh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> tonic. Tonic. Yeah. 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 All right, we'll close on that. That's a good place to close. Yeah. Yeah, really. I might be looking for some eggnog for yeah. me. Yeah. What you what you want to put up at, Mr. Johnson? Yeah, we got corn. All right, so that's your anagram. That's okay. always a good icebreaker to open up the class because every lesson that we've studied in the Sunday school has been centered around conflict for me. So that's the conflict. All right. Any <laughs> questions before we get into this passage? Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Luke chapter one. Any questions from y'all before I give you my questions? A conflict has always been between two people. It can be more than two. More than one person. Yeah. 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 What did Paul say in Romans seven? He had a conflict, didn't he? Yeah. Paul had a conflict in Romans seven. Yeah. yeah. Jesus had a conflict with the cross, didn't he? Right, so conflicts are a part of our Christian growth and maturity, and I thank you for that activity. Remember, anagram, always a good way to get people engaged. Any questions for me before we get started? Questions? We'll, take, we'll do another activity and we'll break. We'll pretend like it's a bank. Conflict, conflict. Any questions? Any questions? Anybody got any questions? Any questions? Any questions? No questions right now? Well, let's just go through the lesson and look at the questions that are raised. Who has your Sunday school material? Look at the questions that are raised throughout the lesson. That's a good place to just start with the lesson. Any questions? Any questions? What specific uh, you saying 
Do we have any questions? You're right. Or from the lesson. What is the lesson? Questions that's asked in the lesson. Like search the scriptures. Those are some good questions. They are very specific. They are very, uh, they, they drive you back to the text because it says search in the scriptures. So question number one, what specific blessing does Mary thank God for? Everybody say specify. specify. Everybody say specify. specify. Let's say it again. Specify. specify. Donna needs to leave knowing after this lesson, I need to be specific when I'm thanking God for my blessings. Right. Prayer is specific. How do I know that? Give us this day. Amen. That's specific, isn't it? Jesus taught us to pray specifically. Prayer should never be general and all over the place. Right. All right. All right. That's not what God taught right. us in prayer. Our Father. Specific. Our Father. Specific. Our Father. Specific. Our Father. Which are in heaven. Specific. God through Jesus was so detailed in his prayer that he gave his father an address. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Father, okay. He didn't. Okay. If he needed child support, and he did, yeah. he knew exactly yeah. where he was. Yeah. Didn't have to tell Gabriel, go find my dad. Right. <laughs> Jesus taught us in prayer, Renetta, to be specific. So Mary in her singing to God today is specific. It said, what specific blessings does Mary thank God for? That's one. What else? Because God is her Savior. What else? For choosing her. What else? All right, back, back, back up. Renetta, what did you say? For his grace and his favor. For his what? Grace and favor. So God, let me let me just pause and pray that. Lord, I thank you today for grace and favor. Yes, sir. Yes, I That's enough. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you for grace. Yes, and grace we know is what? Unmerited. Yes, yeah. In her son. To magnify. She lifted him up. She was specific about the Lord. Lifted him up. Is that my phone or somebody else? Somebody else. Grace and faith. Everybody say grace and faith. All right. So go to verses Luke 1, 46 through 49. Somebody read that. Anybody. And let's look at the specifics. Because I want to lead today through this Christmas and all the rest of my life. When I talk to God, I want to be specific. When I thank God, I want to be specific. Right. Go ahead. The Magnificat, Mary's song of praise. This is from the NLT. Mary responded, Oh, how my soul praises the Lord. How my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Mm -hmm. For he took notice of this, his lowly servant, girl, and from now on, all generations will call me blessed. Okay. For the mighty one is holy, and he has done great things for me. So what specific things did she praise him for? You weren't wrong the first time. Anybody? Let's review. She praised him because he's her savior. He took notice of her. He did what? He took notice of her. Mary said, oh, my soul doth magnify the Lord. So the word, whatever, what word in verse 46? See, this is where it gets really gets interesting for me. In verse 46, what word would you like to study? Do you want to study the word? You want to study Mary? You want to study the word magnify? You want to study the word soul? So you, you got to find something to study. It don't matter, but you got to study a word. You got to pick your poison. So for her, Mary said, oh, my soul does magnify the Lord. Magnify. You said magnify. 
Magnify means to what? Enlarge. A magnifying glass, right? Think of magnification. To magnify. To make what? To make large. To enlarge, right? My glasses help me what? Magnify the objects that I'm looking at. That's just our English connection. So Mary said, my soul does what? Magnify. To lift him up, right? Lift him up. So if we had time and we really got time today, if we went around the room and I asked you to magnify God today, what would you say? Thank you, Lord, for grace and favor, right? Here comes the folks. Don't know who's coming in. So let's start. Let's magnify God right now. Starting with you, uh, preacher. Preacher, the visitor, you first. Magnify God. God, my God is my Lord and my Savior. That's good. That's magnification. That's magnification. Mike, what you going to say? Magnify. Deacon Wright, this magnify to God. How you, when we talk about magnify, what are you how what are you going to say today to magnify your God? It's my gift. Hey, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Hey. That's scary. Okay. All right, Mother Wright, speak for your husband. Magnify the Lord. We're going to magnify him. Everybody got to magnify him. Thank you for his love. All right. What you got, Mother Wright? We magnify him. Mother Brown, magnify the Lord. Good. Mother Darcy, magnify him. All of the above. Aunt Jesse, magnify the Lord. Thank him for letting me see 74 years and waking up. Magnify him, Donna. Amen. Magnify. My father, father heals. Heal. Right. He does heal. He's healed you. That's magnifying. Surely magnifying. That's it. Evangelist Pentecost, magnifying. Strength for the journey. Okay. Rest of magnifying. That's magnified. Magnify. And the psalmist said, Oh, magnify. Let us what? You see, you see how powerful that was? Mary was able to what? Magnify to make him large because of what he's done. So that answers that question. Any questions, comments before we go into the puzzle? Didn't that feel doesn't that make y'all feel much better? Huh? Yeah. Because you got to get it from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. His name is what? Worthy to be worthy. Right. We get to magnify him. And I don't ever want to be in a space where I can't magnify him. Right. So, any questions, comments before we go? Go any further. Uh, is it? Is it? Girl, you and these head dudes. You, <laughs> I, I'm going to ask you for three, little, three offerings. Because you three different people. That's fine. All right, y'all. I got, I got, I got. Any questions, comments before we go any further? Any questions, comments? Any questions, comments? Any questions, comments? Any questions, comments? What are your thoughts then? After doing that activity, after understanding how God specifically teaches us through prayer. Everybody say through prayer. prayer. And God specifically teaches us through Mary's praise. Everybody say praise. Pray. That our prayer and our praise ought to be specific. Right. Ought to be. Ought to be. Ought to be. Any questions come in before I go any further? Question. I got a comment. Comment. What's your comment? In the, in the NLT version in 46 and 47 it says oh how my soul praises it uses how okay and then in 47 it uses how to how my spirit is short so how everybody shout how so here's where it gets interesting academically for me as your instructor here's what i need for y'all to do what is the difference between my soul and my spirit? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay. That's what I was doing. <clears throat> I need to know that. I need to know moving forward 
as I grow in my Christian maturity, she said my soul, and then she she got very specific and said my spirit. My soul and my spirit. My soul and my spirit. My soul and my spirit. Michael, I don't do anything without both of them. Do you hear me? I said anything. Anything, Michael. Good, bad, or indifferent, I'm giving you all my soul and all my spirit. So now I need to know the difference between my soul and my spirit. Because Deacon Brown, she says, my soul does magnify and my spirit does something too. Question, 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 questions, questions, comments. So you know, are they? They're not. See, that's what we make them. We make them. We we force them to be the same, but they are not the same. Yes. What come to mind? She said, "Are they the same?" Thou, what come to mind? Me was that what God created man. He blew his breath and he became a living soul. All right, turn that in Genesis. Turn that. Turn, turn that in Genesis. Everybody find that. Remember the law of first mention. Remember saying the law of first mention. You you study the Bible where that word is first mentioned. There was a spirit on the earth before there was a soul, wasn't it? Because his spirit hovered. So there was a spirit on the earth before there was a soul. Amen. There was a spirit before there was a soul. I'm like you, Mother, right? For all these years, I thought they were the same, and they're not the same. The Bible doesn't teach them as the same. Do Are you? Hold on. Slow down. Because we're going to find out. Is the spirit emotional? Or is your emotions in your soul? Ah. Is it? Are they? Good question, isn't it? Because I need, maybe that's my problem, Kendra. Oh, so I get so caught up in my soul so and live place from a soulish place, which might not be healthy all the time, when my spirit that comes from God is always healthy. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? And Satan says, in order to interrupt their life, I need to get in their soul to see okay. their emotions to affect the way they think. So man became a what? Living what? All right. So Genesis chapter what? Chapter 2, verse 7. Genesis 2, 7. Let's find out where the word soul was mentioned. What does it say? Read it out loud, Saints. And the Lord formed man out of the dust, out of the ground, and breathed into his mouth with the breath of life. And man became a living soul. And mine says man became a living being. Living what? Being. So the word soul means what? A being. Watch this. Watch this. A soul is a being that was formed in the earth. But there's a being that's always been in the what? And see, you don't need this to be heavenly. But you need this to be earthly. Earth, earth, earth. Try it again, Shirley. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need this to be heavenly. But you need this to be earthly. Because things that were formed had to become the soul. Right, right. So God had to do something to get man to generate or operate or cultivate. So man had to become something based upon God breathing on him. He became a living what? So the being that was formed became a soul. The spirit out don't need no formation. Hmm? Because in Genesis 1 1, it says a spirit, right? Right? So Genesis 2 7. Give me another verse for soul. Give me another verse for soul. I'm going to show you how to study the Bible. Law of first mission. Everybody say law of first mission. Just find me another word for soul in the Bible. Open up your Bibles. Open up your Bible gateway apps. Just find another word for soul. Because Mary rejoiced in her what? So Mary rejoiced in her, the being that was formed, the being that was fashioned, the being that was framed. She rejoiced in that place. That's a good place to rejoice in. Mm-hmm. So I can be specific now, Kendra. I thank God for forming me. 
I thank God for making me. I thank God for blessing me. So the word soul does not appear until God shows up in the earth and does something in the earth. So my soul now is connected to the earth. What does it say? Deuteronomy what? But it's from there you seek the Lord your God. You will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. With all your what? The thing that God gave you, right? Or the thing that God made you. You have to seek God with what he what? Made you. What? See, I'm telling you, when you start studying this, oh my God. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What were you about to say? What it say? Hold on, 60 what? 62 and verse 1. And says what? Truly my soul finds rest. My what? Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. My soul has to find what? Rest. Because it was formed. Okay. My soul. Wow. What did it say? Don't move from from Genesis 2 and 7. What did it say? This question. God did not make a body and put a soul into it like a letter into an envelope. Okay? Wow. Wow. This is another one. Rather, he formed man's body from the dust and then by breathing divine breath into it, Ruach. He made the body of dust alive. Yeah. You're right, because it's not a it's not a letter no. put in an envelope, is it? It's not that. It's that God took something lifeless and did what on what it and that which had no life became life. So therefore, Kendra, my soul needs rest. Okay. And in order for in order for my soul to get the rest you mentioned, I got to have the breath of God. Breathe on me. Breathe on me. This what blessings. So if I'm living my life without God, breathe. If I'm not still enough for Him to, I never get the rest. I can't do the seeking, huh? Because. Soulish things come from the earth that are formed and fashioned. Your spirit never got fashioned nor formed. Your spirit is from God. So Mary said, I rejoice in my soul, in my soul. the place of rest. Yes. Joe Pendergrass said, Psalms what? 103. What did it say? Everybody turn there. 103. Psalms 103. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Uh, and all. Did you see that? Rissa now. Not his what? So my soul, the thing that was formed, the thing that was fashioned, the thing that was framed, formed, fashioned, framed, formed, fashioned, framed, has to seek rest. Because it was what was God breathed. God breathed. In, 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 in Psalms 103. What is that? My what? Oh, so Come on. He, he does what? Restores. So now y'all see the process of restoration. So while we run around here, Psalm 23, Psalm 23, in order for him to get you to a place of restoration, you got to seek him. You got to put some things in order because he will restore that. It never says God will restore your spirit. Your spirit doesn't need rest- restoration. Your spirit doesn't. Mm-mm. The spirit of God in you doesn't need restoration. It's perfect. The spirit of God in you. But the spirit of man in you is all messed up. Yeah. yeah. But the spirit of God in you never gets messed up, Renata. That's why when Alabama used to beat us, I was fine. Because the spirit of God was on me. And I said, one of these days, one of these days, hallelujah, Alabama going to lose. <laughs> That's right, I am something else. <laughs> and I'm going to be something else. Oh, and when I die, I hope 70, 80 years from now, put on my casket, he was something else. <laughs> you got to say nothing else. You got to say nothing else. You got to say nothing else, Nick, that he was something else. Okay. 
So Lorraine knows today, I need my soul restored. There's some things I must do biblically. So Mary rejoiced in her what? Soul. So now I know my soul and my spirit are different. Now they might have some similar characteristics and do some things together, but they're different. Hmm. Any more scriptures on soul, y'all? What's 62.5 say? My soul waits in silence yes. for God only. My soul does what? Wait. Wait. And they that what? Wait. wait. Upon the Lord. Share what? Yes. They share what? Yes. With what? Yes. As what? Yes. The strongest animal yes. that God gave the ability to fly was the eagle. And isn't this something? If I learn how to wait on God correctly, he will give me the strength to mount, to fly, to soar. Remember, eagles can fly through storms and fly over them. That's the thing about an eagle. And he can see them far off. All right. Any more Any more scriptures on soul? Psalms 46. Oh! It's well with my what? It is well. Go ahead, Lorraine. Take a. It is well with my. Huh? But you, but you have to get there, right? Okay. And I and I, I'm like you, mother, right? I had some somebody had to stop me and teach me this that my soul and my spirit are different. Now, I can rejoice from both places, but I got to know all the stuff that really happens to me affects my soul. <laughs> and Elder, when you say that it is well with my soul, and I sung that at my son, not my son, uh, but I sung it. Um, I've sung it here and had him on my mind when I sung it. Mm -hmm. And when I sing that song, I feel good on right. the in inside. Right. In your soul. In my yeah. soul. I feel good. Yeah. In my soul. Situation ain't changed. No. Uh, yeah. But I feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Can we say yeah. then that the soul comforts us? Yeah. And the soul is the place where you feel the affliction. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? And it comforts you during the affliction. Yeah. Absolutely. Go ahead. Is that, is that, is that? God comforts. God does a comfort. Right. Okay. Well, That's what you're getting ready to say. Now, I was just going to say, when, when you talk about the soul, first day, God, uh, we became a living soul. God gave us that will. Mm -hmm. And then Mary said, I mean, she said that my soul has will mm -hmm. to magnify God, mm -hmm. but it's by the Spirit mm -hmm. of God, mm -hmm. which, which brings her whole person along, mm -hmm. which brings the whole person, the whole body, our mind, Spirit and soul mm -hmm. alone to magnify the praise on a continuous uh, uh, basis. So, you know, that's like Jesus said, not my will, but, but thy will be, be done. Yeah. So, my soul now is picked up in the will of God. God. This is what yeah. she's experiencing mm -hmm. to magnify the Lord. Yeah. Her yeah. soul has the will to do it. And then by the Spirit, a whole being. It's now, right. it's now there. But you got to know God to recognize it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you can't, you can't uh, know God but by the Spirit of God. But you got to, you got the Spirit of God that He breathed into, to, uh, that He gives us, helps us, our soul, to know the difference. Right. So man became a what? Living. Mm -hmm. so he, he, he had no being. <laughs> until he became right until God yeah until God yeah. made him alive yeah, make you alive otherwise he'd just still be laying there like a, <laughs> like a, a what you call it a mannequin yeah the mannequin <laughs> you have somebody got to dress it <laughs> and they that worship oh, him must worship him and it is see so now we see Right, but it, he didn't say in the soul, did he? Uh -huh. He said in the spirit. Uh -huh. If you're gonna worship, yeah, in the what spirit yeah. and in what truth, amen. Those complement each other. Mm -hmm. Wrestle wherever there's spirit, there's truth, whether good, bad, or indifferent. 
holy or hellish spirit. There's still some truth to it. You hear me? Yeah. So you can't you can have a soul that's form, fashion, frame, but it's when you start dealing in the spiritual realm, John 4, 24, y'all can turn there just to see it. There's something totally different. That's another realm higher than the soul. That's the spiritual part. And I just put that over there. It's higher than the soul. John 1, 4, 24. Mm -hmm. And they that worship him must worship him. That goes back to who, who's, who's the captain of the ship. <laughs> are you or is Jesus in that seat? You by your own soul, are you in that seat? Or have you given that seat over to Jesus mm. to be the captain of your soul? Mm. I'm the master of my faith. Evictus, y'all remember that poem? Yes, yeah. Then y'all have to cite that back in the day. John 4 24 says what? God is a spirit. He's a what? Spirit. So, but even before there was a soul, there was a what? Spirit. And when God was in Genesis, what was he? Spirit. And it's the spirit that blew into the what? Oh. <laughs> okay, that's why when we say when people die, we say his, his soul returns. Yeah. Earth to earth, ash to ash, yeah. But God gave him that. Yeah. The Ruach, he breathed upon him. The spirit is a higher form, higher right, place. Right, right. The spirit, listen, the spirit can navigate when the soul cannot. The spirit can hover when the soul cannot. The spirit didn't need no uh, uh, CPR. The spirit gives the CPR. The spirit gives the CPR. When you going, when you flatlining in life, when you flatlining in life, it's the spirit. Breathe on, pop, push. So I thank God for my spirit. That's why I gotta guard my what spirit too. <laughs> this is making sense. Look at Rizzo. Rizzo's life. I know Rizzo. You've been in church all your life like me, but this is what you call Bible study. Out of my head that there's some emotional piece to that it is spiritual part. Okay. It is. But your emotions more rest in your soul. Okay. You, you can't base things on how you feel. Okay. Right. All the time because <laughs> like I tell people, right. if I base things on how I feel, mm -hmm. I wouldn't get out of bed. <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. If you base it on how you feel, huh? Right. 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 But we base it on the spirit of the living God. That's why Paul said, not for my son. No. You know, that's why Paul said, there's always a wrestle there. Yeah. Uh, but that's why I got to be because spirit. emotionally, the spirit of the Lord is with me, so I want to get out of here. <laughs> to, to will to do. Say, Thank you, because this is what you did for me, so it's not based, I'm not saying that's how I feel, but emotionally, I'm so caught up, and every time I turn around, he's making a way for me. Every time I think about what he's done for me, I'm like, hallelujah. Every time I think about all the stuff I did, it shouldn't be here. Oh, no. So emotionally, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. So I, I'm not basing it on uh, how I feel in my natural man. I'm basing it on how I'm feeling in my spiritual man. And that's okay, because that's you gave your soul over to the Lord over to yeah. the spirit. Right. So that's that's where that's where our feelings are generated from. Because the, the, the spirit is poured into your soul. Mm -hmm. So what when in a believer's mind, when I think of his goodness, yeah. Yeah. but I have to be careful because <laughs> feelings will, you know, feelings they been converted. Y'all know that feelings have been converted. Oh. So, you know, so sometimes the feelings you have, you can't let the feelings be the driver. <laughs> You can't let the feelings be the driver. You got to you got to control the feelings because if we're not careful, the feelings will control us. That's why sometimes we act a fool. I don't know. Right. Uh, speak you know? for yourself only, so sister. So when you know, speak for you. Few of us can think that we act a fool sometimes. That's right. That's right. And so what happens? Yeah. Right. John the Baptist, listen, John the Baptist loses his head because somebody got caught up in their work. Yeah. Yeah. Stop saying that your feelings is a real place. Yeah. 
It's dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Esau lost his birthright right. because of his what? Yeah. Samson lost all of his strength yeah. because of his what? Yeah. <laughs> Look, don't you got to get them in check early? Luke 4, Luke 4 18, moving to the spiritual side. Luke 4 18. Y'all, y'all gonna have to finish this lesson on another day. We almost out of time, huh? Because now you need to learn, Lord, and at least help me to separate my soul and my spirit. Luke 4, 18. The spirit of the Lord is what? The what? The spirit of the Lord is what? So there it is. Even Jesus, who had to operate in the soul, the shrimp, said the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has done what? So the... The assignments that God gives us has to function from a spiritual place. Mm -hmm. You have to be tapped into that to do it effectively for God. Right, right. He's anointed me because you remember, look, 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 listen, look at Luke 4. Don't look at me. Everybody see, look at Luke 418. <laughs> Don't look at me because this is where it really gets interesting, Rissa, about your feelings. Right. Tell me what you feel when you read those words. He's anointed me to preach the gospel to those. What you feel? No, 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 no. Let's don't get saved now. Let's talk about that word poverty. I know what you feel now personally. But Kendra, when you look at those words, what when you think of poverty, what you feel? Okay, but when you were broke. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Y'all want to be real. Now, I know where we are now spiritually because we mature. But when we start looking at poor, I ain't talking about where you are now. I'm talking about that's why you got to be anointed. Because when you start dealing with stuff that makes you feel the way it makes you feel, you better thank God for the anointing. Because you can't look at poor too long and not feel something. Think about it. Poor? Poor makes you feel a certain way. All of us have traveled down poor boulevards. And I don't care what we say now. We don't. We don't want to go back. We don't want to go back there. I thank God what I have now, but I don't want to go back there, Lord. Whatever you do, I don't want to go back to wooden pews. I don't want to go back to swab, swatting at the walls, huh? I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there. So look at these words. Thank God for your anointing because every word, Lorraine, in the fourth chapter, in that verse, it, it evokes a feeling. He's anointed me to preach the gospel to the who? What's next? That's a, that's a feeling, isn't it? And aren't you glad you're anointed? That's a feeling, isn't it? That's right. To do that. That's right. To, to the broken hearted. What's the next word? Captives. That's not a good word. That makes me feel a certain way. What's the next word? Blind. Just the blind. Come on, Bartimaeus. We studied him, didn't we? Hmm? That's poor. That, that's not Lorraine. That doesn't make me feel good. Even as good as I feel, that doesn't make me feel good. Even looking at those words, when I be honest, you see now. That, that's why you got to be thankful for the anointing, because He will allow you to handle what you cannot handle if you try to handle it the way you wanted to handle it. I'm grateful today he don't let me handle it 
the way I want to handle it. He anoints me to handle it the way he wants it handled so I can give him glory. So now I can tell Mary, like your soul magnifies him, my soul magnifies Because off with some people's heads. Off. So I magnify the Lord spiritually because he's anointed me. Hmm? Ain't that good news? Luke, Luke, Luke. Oh, let me, anybody got questions coming? So anybody got any questions coming? We only got three minutes. Luke 10, Luke 10. I'm going to show you another spiritual first. And we close. Yes, sir. It said Jesus rejoiced in the what? After they came back, I'm not going to want you to find it. Jesus comes back. They, they come back to Jesus, the 70, and they tell him all what happened, right? And Jesus rejoiced in his what? What it is. It is. Jesus rejoiced in his what? Woo, that's good news, ain't it? I, would, I wish I would have known what he said, but that's good stuff, isn't it? That when they returned, Jesus was able to rejoice in a place that he possibly had not rejoiced before. You see that? You see that? He rejoiced in his what? Spirit. So the spirit and the soul, we know, are two separate entities now, right? And I, I don't need to confuse the two. I need to stop confusing the two because the soul is a place of my emotions. Okay. And I can rejoice from this place, but this is heavenly. I don't need this. Well, I don't I don't have to necessarily need this to produce this. Your hands called on Jesse. I'm a teacher, Aunt Jesse. How many years have I taught school? And I taught babies and I taught adults. So are we good? Uh, Luke 1, verse 48, verse 47. I'm sorry. And then we'll close. We didn't even get finished, but that's enough. Hmm? Who said we did? Donna, you said that? We got done. My what? Mary rejoiced in her what? Spirit. Jesus rejoiced in her spirit. Mary rejoices in the same place Jesus did. My spirit have rejoiced in God, my Savior. My soul magnified the Lord. A lot is going on in Mary. Yeah. And, and, and just think, Paul Jody. I'm glad he, he got some act right then. Oh, we're glad he got some act right. Because he was about to cancel it out, wasn't he? He was about to cancel Christmas. He was, about to cancel Christmas. He, he was minded to put her away. Yeah. You was going to miss all this praise from your partner had you dismissed her. <laughs> the one that was carrying God for you. What relationship is carrying God for you that you're about to dismiss? And you're going to miss all this praise. <laughs> the holiday, you got to, don't you? Thank God he can answer your thoughts. Now I can say he is a mind regulator. Huh? Because he had to answer some of my thoughts. Kendra, I'm glad he answered them, not you. Because me and you, we would have said it all. But I'm grateful, Ebony, that God answered my thoughts before you did. Because I was about to discount some relationships that was literally caring God for me. Word of God for the people of God. God's people said, Amen. Amen. Let's say, We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Father God, we are so thankful for this lesson. We're thankful for this study. It has really blessed us. We know that Mary magnified you with her soul and rejoiced in her spirit. We know that there's a difference between soul and spirit. And if we go to Hebrews chapter 4, we can find that scripture unlocked for us. Thank you for your revelation of your word, Father God. It's like a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Now bless this food. Yes. Bless this season. Yes. Lord, thank you for this day. Because you've given us this day, our daily bread. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And everybody celebrate it by saying. Amen. Amen.